Hello everyone. In this video, we will be doing yet another Terraform on AWS Lab. And this time, we will be using Terraform configuration to launch a Windows EC2 instance. Then, we'll use the same configuration, make, that, make some changes to that configuration and launch a Linux EC2 instance. And you'll get to see how things work in Terraform. This video is produced by Cloud Yeti. Cloud Yeti is based in the Washington DC metro area and provides consulting and training services on cloud computing and DevOps. If you want us to provide cloud computing or DevOps training, you can contact us at contact at cloudyeti.io. My name is Saurav Sharma and I'll be the presenter for this video. Now let's get started. Now I'm back in this AWS Labs repo that we used in our previous video. There's a Terraform AWS folder inside of this repo where we have lesson one and lesson two. We did lesson one last time. And really quick, let's do a recap of what we did in lesson one. In lesson one, we introduced what Terraform is. Then we downloaded the Terraform binary file. We added Terraform to our working path. And then we added a small configuration file, Terraform configuration file we created access keys using identity and access management on AWS. We initialized Terraform, we applied the configuration, and we were able to confirm that an EC2 instance was launched using that configuration. After we verified everything, we destroyed the uh, Terraform stack using Terraform destroy command. So I recommend you watch this video if you haven't already before we start this lab. So in this lab, what we'll be doing is we'll be launching an EC2 instance, a Windows EC2 instance at first. And this time we want to actually log into the instances that we create. So we will need to create a key pair on AWS and this is the EC2 key pair. It's not identity and access management access keys, which are different things. So we'll create a EC2 key pair, uh, which we will be using to log into our instances. After we create the key pair, we will add this configuration file to our working directory. We will initialize the directory again and apply the configuration. So before we start, for us to be able to log into our EC2 instance, we need to create a key pair. To create the key pair, let's go to the AWS Management Console and let's go to the EC2 dashboard. In the EC2 dashboard, right around here, you'll see one key pair. So let's click on this key pairs. Right now, I only have one key pair on this region. I'm gonna create a key pair with the name of Terraform dash key. I'm going to click on create. And once I click on create a PEM file, a terraform dash key dot PEM file will be downloaded to my default download directory or downloads folder. And we will be using this key to log into our EC2 instance and we will be specifying this key in our configuration file later when we are launching our EC2 instance. All right, so let's get started by copying this code. So before I copy and save this code to my working directory, I wanna compare this code to what we used last time. The code that we used last time in our previous lab was this, which is a simple code that will launch a bare minimum EC2 instance. The thing is we cannot log into that EC2 instance because we don't have the key pair here. And we need to specify the key pair while launching an EC2 instance to be able to log in. We also need some ports open on our EC2 instance. Right here, there's no ports open. Um, and if you don't specify a security group, the default security group will be used depending on what you have on your default security group. There's no guarantee that you can log in even if you have a key pair. So in this lab, we have added a key name called Terraform key and we all will be creating a key 
call Terraform key before we uh, apply this template. And I've also added security groups. And if you look at the syntax here, I am referring to the AWS security group called allow RDP. I'm taking the name of that security group and saying apply this security group to the EC2. And allow RDP comes from right here. I've created the security group also in the same template um, with the name of allow RDP. And I've added 3389 port that is accessible from anywhere on the internet. So this will let us log into the EC2 instance. So I'm going to copy this code now and I'm going to go to my terminal. Once I'm in the terminal here, I will create a new folder called Terraform Login. Now this is an arbitrary name. You can name this anything. So enter. So once I create this directory, I'm going to change to this directory. Terraform Login. Right now it's empty. Now I'm going to open using my text editor I'm gonna create a file called ec2.tf now you can also open a text editor and just paste this and save this in your working directory but I've copied that in my clipboard and I pasted the code here and I'm gonna save this right this will be saved into the terraform login directory now you can always open a notepad or any text editor and save this in your directory you know any way you prefer to do it is fine I'm gonna go back to my terminal now I'm gonna clear the screen and just like last time we need to initialize this directory whenever you add new configuration file on your Terraform working directory you need to initialize your working directory so I'm gonna initialize this working directory with the command terraform init and if you have an error then you probably don't have terraform in your working path so to add terraform to your working path you can go back to our previous video and add terraform to the working path by looking at the steps once you see this message Terraform has been successfully initialized. We are ready to apply our configuration to create our EC2 instance. So at this point, I'm going to apply the configuration by using the command terraform apply. And it's going to ask me, do you want to perform these actions? I'm going to say yes. And while this is creating the stack let me quickly go back to our code here and make sure you you know paste your access key and secret access key here otherwise you know you will probably get an error uh, now there are some other ways to set these keys which we will talk in our future videos uh, but at this time you know this is an, an easy way to um, set your access keys to create stacks with terraform so Make sure you paste your AWS access keys here. And if you don't know how to do this, uh, you can go back and watch the previous video we have. So let's go back and see what's happening with our Terraform. And if you see this apply complete with a green color, you know, our stack was successfully created with this configuration file. So I can go to my AWS management console and check and verify if the resources were in fact created so I'm here in my EC2 dashboard on AWS management console if I click on one running instance I can see that there is an EC2 instance being initialized and this was done using Terraform if I click on this instance I can see that this is a Windows instance this is using the Terraform key key pair that we had on the configuration file and let's give this EC2 instance about four to five minutes to for this to be ready because Windows EC2 instance take uh, a while to get set up and then we can log into this EC2 instance 
All right, so it's been about four minutes since we launched this EC2 instance. So I'm gonna click on connect now. How Windows EC2 instance work is you need to use the key pair that we specify to decrypt the password. When you click on connect, when you select your EC2 instance and click on connect, you'll see this box. You need to click on get password and you need to supply the Terraform key PEM file that we created earlier to decrypt the password for this EC2 instance. So I'm gonna click on choose file. I'm gonna select my Terraform key file that we downloaded earlier. And this is gonna load the key into this box. I'm gonna use uh, this key to decrypt the password by clicking here. At this point, I get the password to my EC2 instance. So this is my EC, uh, EC2 instance password. I'm gonna copy this to clipboard, and then I'm gonna download the remote desktop file. So once I download this remote desktop file, I'll just click on the downloaded file, and a window like this should pop up, and I'll click on con continue. This is Microsoft Remote Desktop software that's you know bringing this dialog box and uh, it auto populated the DNS name of the host or the EC2 instance and also the username. I just have to supply the password that I copied from here. I'm gonna do that and say done. Click on continue yet again. And at this point, I'm logged in to the Windows EC2 instance. So it's gonna take a minute or so to set up but basically as you can see I'm logged into the Windows Server 2012 that we launched with Terraform configuration so how cool is that we are able to log in because this time we used a key pair and also a proper security group that had port 3389 open so at this point you know, we verified that the Windows server is working, um, that we are able to log into the server. So we're done with this uh, part of this lab. So we verified the Windows EC2 instance is working. We logged into it. So that brings us to the end of this lab. Now before we go, let's clean up the EC2 instance that we created and to destroy the resources created with the terraform config we can apply the command terraform destroy enter and this will ask us do you really want to destroy i want to say yes and this will start destroying the stack so in a couple of minutes this should be uh, destroyed the ec2 instance and the security group as mentioned right here should be destroyed so after a while the destroy is complete we have cleaned up our resources that we created so this brings us to the end of this lab if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below if you like this lab don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel we'll be creating more videos on terraform in the future if you want us to create a full course on Terraform, then let us know in the comments below. If we um, have enough interest, then we'll create a full course. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.